Good morning, it's Friday. What time is it? Quarter to nine. I'm starting work in the office at half past nine today, so I am not editing and I'm not getting the vlog up for tonight because I'm waking up and going to work instead. I've got my morning coffee on the go. It sounds like it's done, but it isn't. It's boiling too vigorously, but it's not done, so it needs to stay on. I can never get it right with IB's pot and stove combo. Oh no, no, actually it's done. It's up to the top. Let's get that off the heat then. I tell a lie. Normally what it does is it just, it just sounds like it's done before it is. Very weird. Oh, he's a good boy. Look, he's got me some rice cakes in. I'm not ready for them yet though, but I'll just put them there ready for when I am. I need at least a cup of coffee before I start contemplating food at this time in the morning. We went out and played tunes last night in Gloucester in a pub and met loads of friends and had an absolute blast. I haven't been feeling very musical lately. I've been feeling a bit, uh, I don't know, flat with it all, but it all came springing back last night. It was just great to just slot back in and it all worked again. Actually, next week, IB is whisking me off on another one of those musical jaunts. So we'll be going up, I think the north east, no, where are we going? I don't know, England, up north somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, it's coffee time now. Let's find a mug. IB's mugs are mostly the same. In my house, my mugs are mostly different. <laughs> I look, he's got the festival, the Lorient Festival cups. He collects them every year he goes. Carol's milk for the coffee today. Is it going to dribble? And a bit of a top up with the cup of water and we're good to go. Yay. It's 10 to 12 now. I've done all the work I could do unaccompanied, like unsupervised today at the office. Mostly processing receipts actually. Scanning them in, um, that sort of thing admin -y stuff. Piles and piles of the things. Um, the next thing to do is like a big sort of overhaul of the filing system and an audit of file names. Some stuff have got to be chucked out, probably some things might have to be archived. So overhauling the filing cabinets and auditing as well. But I need my boyfriend to oversee that because he knows what needs chucking out and archiving and I don't, so that's coming up next. But he's not ready for me at the moment, he's got some other things that he needs to get on. But I've got a vlog to finish off, so it's looking like I might get it up for tonight after all. <laughs> um, I'm in a funny position at the moment because I'm sleepy now because I didn't get enough sleep, obviously, because we were out gallivanting. <laughs> I feel like a nap, really. I'm not going to have one. I'm going to press on to see if I can get this done. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I haven't had lunch, but I've had a, like a few bites of a brownie because one of our friends turned up and brought a brownie with him and gave it to me, so I couldn't resist having a few bites. But now I'm not hungry, but really I need my lunch. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think I'll have that after I've done the video. Right, speak to you later. Bye! It's about ten past one now. Things were going well. Um, I've managed to upload my video, do the thumbnail, most of the description and all that, and tags, but for some reason. I always check these days to see if it works. Apparently it doesn't, so I don't know why. So I'm re-uploading it, uh, which will be a pain, but I can copy and paste across all the info I've written in and everything, and the links and all that. But my boyfriend is having a lunch break from work. He called up the stairs, would I like poached eggs on toast? Oh yes, I would. How nice is that? So he's cooking that for me now, so I'm probably just gonna leave this and come back to it after lunch and just see if it sorted itself out. I've only got another 10 minutes or so to sort it out if... Oh, oh. Yeah, um, I, I've never ever had this happen, ever. Once it went on and was all glitchy and making horrible noises, but it's never done this. I've uploaded the same file a second time because I checked it on my laptop and it plays, so it's a perfectly good video file, but it's doing the same thing again. I'll re-export it with a slightly different format, I think. Oh, it's lunchtime now anyway. Right, I'll leave that export in. I suspect the problem might be with YouTube. It's dark in here, isn't it? Bit of troubleshooting I need to do, I think. Right, oh, oh, look. Oh, oh, it's so nice being fed. Thanks, love. All right. Oh, this is really nice. Plain and simple and very satisfying. Mm. And he's brought me a cup of tea as well. He's still cooking his. He's going to have baked beans with his, but I'm not a fan, so... This will do me nicely. I put some black pepper on it as well out of this grinder here. I'm 
going to go for an apple now. Lunch is done. I'm just attempting to upload my video for the third time with a slightly different export settings. Does anybody else have this problem? Every so often, one of my piercings goes a bit nasty and it's always this one, the stud, not the rings. The rings never do it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go put some more germaline on it. I've been treating it with germaline since yesterday. Before that, I was treating it with alcohol, but that just didn't seem to work at all. I think the hat and scarf triggers it because it's rubbing against the stud. And then I think there must be some kind of mild abrasion or maybe a little teeny tiny cut or well, scratch goes in it and then this happens it's not that often anyway i've taken the earring out i'm just gonna sort the infection out i'm sure it won't close up it's been done since the 90s i love germaline it reminds me of my grandma <laughs> it's one of those products that's been around for decades and it doesn't seem to have changed its smell the things that remind me of my grandma in the way of smells are freesia perfume and brill cream would uh, make me think of my granddad. Right, I'm going to go and do some work now in the office. The big filing overhaul thing, so it shouldn't be too heady. I like those better, the straightforward ones. I prefer those to the stuff where you have to deal with a lot of different figures and keep them in your short term memory. I'm not good at that, I just get really brain foggy. <laughs> it's 10 past three now, so I finished working in the office for the day. I just couldn't do the overhauling the filing drawer thingy because he was just too busy dealing with things as they were coming in to oversee it and he needs to oversee it. So I did do some other stuff that needed to be done, stuff that involved filling in online forms, things like that, but the work has dried up, but that's fine. So I've come back in, I've been messing around with my video. So it won't play back on my laptop, but my videos are playing back on my phone. So I just assume it's a glitch. And I went on Twitter and I noticed uh, another couple of people on their cre video creators have said the same thing's been happening to them. And that was five hours ago. Uh, so, well, I'm just going to have to cross my fingers and hope it plays for you all. I, I know most of you watch on the phone anyway, because I've looked at my analytics. So, if it doesn't, apologies. But uh, there we are. Right, I am going to do an invoice now for my boyfriend for the work that I've done this time and the time I, before as well, because I was going to lump it all together on one invoice. But I wasn't expecting to have such a big gap between the last time and this time. But anyway, ooh, oh, I haven't got my diary. No, I've got it on my phone. It's okay, I can work it out. I'll speak to you later. That's all sorted now. I am thinking what I will do now is go and post something in the post box that... I put in an envelope and wrote the address on earlier in the office that uh, it would probably be good if it caught the post today. I know my boyfriend's still working, but I'll just go do that. I think it's half a mile each way, something like that. So it'll be good exercise for me. And then if he's still busy, I am going to probably practice my flute. Although that said, we're supposed to be leaving in an hour at half four. But I know what his work is like. I need to prepare to expect the unexpected. I'm not walking on my own after all, am I? IB has come with me. He was so sick and tired of doing that boring old work awesome. that he just wanted any excuse to come out and have a bit of exercise with his girl. We are nearly at the summit and then hopefully it'll be all downhill from here. There's a great big tree trunk there. Look, obviously, well, not obviously, but I presume it came down in Storm Eunice or one of the storms that we recently had. IB thinks it's destroyed the gate and fence because he has spied with his eyes that uh, this is all new here. So, yeah, maybe. I wonder where it fell. I wonder where it was originally. I'm trying well, to look for the hole. I think it was there. And they filled it. You would think there'd be a big hole, but then obviously someone's been here and dealt with it, so they would have filled a hole if there wasn't. Mm. I'm back at IB's place now. Now, IB has had his radiators fixed, and it feels very pleasant in here now. He's going to go and work in the office for about another 15 minutes. I'm just going to add on another 15 minutes because stuff always comes up. Um, so I think that's the perfect amount of time for me to just chill out and watch a vlog. And I'm going to have a lovely afternoon snack of a packet of crisps and a chocolate biscuit and a decaffeinated instant coffee. That will do me nicely, thank you very much. I've been sitting here way longer than I should be. He's not in yet. Oh, I can hear pheasants outside. Oh, that's so cute. I can see one in the distance. Anyway, I've been doing comments. I watched a few vlogs and I still can't hear him, so I think he's still working. What I really need to do is pack this laptop up. But I had so many really interesting and lovely comments after my uh, vlog that I did yesterday about the menopause 
and yeah everyone's been sharing their experiences and their stories and it's really interesting so i want to go through and answer all these comments but obviously been a bit full on today so hopefully tomorrow i'll get a chance to sit down and go through them all carefully because they're very interesting it's good to have a discussion about it really um it just came like a bolt out of the blue for me i, I don't know <laughs> it's not one of those things that's just generally talked about that much is it i don't know why i don't know is there a stigma to it i don't know i don't think there was maybe there is maybe people feel inadequate about it i don't know anyway i don't he's in he's back and um i was just uh packing up my stuff and i found a carrier bag this carrier bag in fact and i had a look inside and there was two pairs of my knickers in there ones that i haven't worn in ages <laughs> and i thought oh what's that doing on the kitchen floor next to my rucksack oh well i'll just take them home anyway apparently <laughs> these are mysterious knickers that everybody in the family's had a look at <laughs> that's come to visit and um everyone seems to think it's everybody else's child's knickers but they are mine <laughs> i'm just gonna fold them up and put them in the cubby hole here <laughs> yes they are clean thank goodness that's all i can say oh dear me they're from literally ages ago i don't tend to wear these sorts anymore i wear big big shorty ones you know with legs in because that's my preferred style i'm all packed up now ready to go a lot of people in the russian elite are simply appalled by what is going on so putin is nervous he is trying to clamp down is there anyone in his immediate circle who might now be prepared to challenge him and it's all scared most of russians scared i guess ah I completely forgot to put the pizza in. Izzy's home. She's doing some kind of group chat thing with college chums. Oops. Oh, I was trying to put the light on. It was already on. Oh, dear. I am feeling really, really lazy. Oh, that overexposed camera a bit, didn't it? Right. I got home. I put the dishwasher on. No, it is not finished. So we can just let that air dry. And I thought, oh, I can't be bothered to cook. Plus, I don't have any fresh veg at all, except for a bit of celery and a probably gone off cassava. So I put the oven on and we're going to have pizza, frozen pizza. Oh, that obviously won't go in that way. Excuse me a minute. I've turned it around. Right, Izzy's the oven food expert, not me. That's a 12 minute. Excellent. And I'm going to pop the kettle on because for our veg, we're simply going to have these soya beans, which I'm going to do in the microwave. I think that'll take about five minutes. I might put a bit of butter in once they've been drained. I think that might be quite nice. Oh, CIB's been playing with the fridge magnets again. Mmm, nice. the house to warm up it was a bit chilly when i got in because the heating had been off um but it's gradually warming up anyway i'm not quite ready to take the hood down yet but thank you so much for watching today's video do please give it a like if you liked it it really helps this channel to grow and i so appreciate that and if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and i'll see you in the next one bye oh i think i might have slightly overdone the pizza just a bit of b-roll oh <laughs>